Hey everyone, I'm back, and uh, this is a tag video. Now, I'm not sure if this tag has been done before, but it's perfect for this week because it's just, I thought it'd be cool. Um, and this tag is what I love about being an otaku. Um, so I'm going to tell you guys five things I love about being an otaku, but, you know, you don't have to say five things. You can say three or ten if you want. You can say as many as you want or just one, and just talk about it. And I'm going to tag five people at the end of the video, and, um, yeah, so I'm just going to tell you guys the five things I love about being an otaku. So, the first thing I love about being an otaku, and this is probably the most that I love about it, is the otaku community itself. Everyone that I've met um, that is an otaku has been the nicest, kindest person I've ever met in my life. I have never met a bad rude jerk otaku ever they've all been supportive and like just you know they agree with me sometimes they disagree but they don't like put me down or anything they're just so awesome and nice and i just love the otaku community and um you will be able to find someone that you like uh share ideas with and um favorites and likes and there's just, there's always a friend in the Otaku community that will be your friend. <laughs> so, I love the community. Another thing I love about being an Otaku is the collecting itself, obviously, because Otaku is, I didn't know this before, but it means uh, obsession. And, yeah, you look at my collection over there, and you know I am obsessed with um, manga and books, but that's not really, books are, yeah, they're not really a part of the otaku community, but... Well, they are, actually. There are manga books and stuff. But anyway, getting off track. Uh, yeah, the collecting is just amazing. Um, I didn't used to like collecting until, like, I saw other people's collections, and then they talked about their manga or their anime that they have, and I'm like, wow, that sounds really, really interesting. I want to check that out. And then I find new series that I love, thanks to the community and their collections and stuff. I think that's so awesome. Uh, another thing I love about being an otaku is um, the artwork in the manga and anime itself is just so amazing and creative. I've never in my life seen something like that. Um, like, you know, I, I know American cartoons, but when I first saw, like, um, the art of, you know, I think the first manga or anime I saw was Bleach. When I first saw that, it was something I've never seen before. And, um, actually Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, too, but, yeah. Uh, those were still really, really creative, and I just love that. Um, I also love, uh, the diverse, or, uh, the, um, originality in some of the manga and anime and other stuff. Like, like the, uh, stories that they come up with, like, for When They Cry, that's incredibly original. I love that story. <sighs> How did he come up with that? Or whoever came up with it. It's just amazing. And same with Death Note. Um, again, with the artwork, the artwork with Death Note is just incredible. You know, spectacular. And I cannot believe that that mangaka, Sagumi Oba, actually came up with the story. Um, and it's so original and so awesome. And same with, like, Gantz. I mean, Gantz has incredible artwork as well, thanks to Computer. And the artist is also really good. But, um, the originality of that series is just amazing. <laughs> I could never have thought up of that story on my own, because there's just so much that has been, you know, redone and is kind of cliche in the world, not just otaku, but, like, you know, books and movies, and it's hard to come up with new ideas, and these mangakas and, you know, artists and designers have come up with these uh, incredible stories that are just so amazing. I just love that. And um, another thing that I just love about being an otaku is uh, the diversity in otaku. Like, there are so many different types of otakus and so many different types of, you know, obsessions you can get into. Like, you can be a video game otaku, a manga or anime otaku, a cosplayer, an a artist, you know, you can be anything. And you'll find someone that you just, you know, like that shares your ideas and stuff. I already said that, but... Yeah, those are the five things that I love about being an otaku. The most is 
again, the community is just amazing. They're just so nice people, and they're just amazing. <laughs> I've said amazing a lot in this video. But um, now I'm going to be tagging five people to tell me what they like about being an otaku, and you can pick one thing, three, five, ten, whatever. You can pick as many as you want. And the five people I'm going to tag are HG Acting Girl, uh, Real Karama Anime Talk, Rickman Fan 93, Kamikaze Strawberry, and um, I'm trying to think of the last person. Hmm. I guess MacFan 247. All right, there we go. Those are the five people I'll tag. I'm going to put their links in the, in the bottom bar below. And um, if you want to do this tag and I didn't tag you, I encourage you to do it. Please do it. I'd love that. And if you have been tagged and you are going to do it, you know, please try to tag some people. You can tag three, one, five, whatever you want to do. And um, I'd really like this tag to be, like, spread all over. Because there are different, you know, um, opinions out there about being an otaku and stuff. And it's just amazing. So... Uh, thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see your responses, and I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow.